Another very common tool for spline modeling is the sweep modifier, which will allow us to easily extrude along a path. I want to create a wall ornament for my building, and I'm going to use this diamond shape or rectangle as the path. And we can either extrude a basic shape such as a circle or a rectangle around that path, or we can use a custom profile. And that's what I've got here. I've got a custom profile to be extruded along this path. So let's add the sweep modifier. I'll select the rectangle, go to the modify panel, and from the modifier list, scroll down and add a sweep modifier. And by default, we're going to get a built in section or profile, and we've got a bar. And there are parameters we can adjust. So if we scroll down here a little bit, we'll see under parameters we've got length and width. And we can adjust those to get different shapes to the profile curve, which is being extruded down that path. We've also got the ability to align in various ways. So by default, it's going to align the built-in section's center to the path itself. And as we change the alignment here, we can see that we can make it snap to the inside or the outside or the center of that path. All right, we can also choose a different built-in section here. Instead of a bar, maybe choose a cylinder, and we'll get a circular profile. We can orbit around with Alt and Middle Mouse and check that out. And again, we have parameters. We can maybe reduce the radius. To control the level of detail or the number of polygons, we can adjust the interpolation settings in the sweep modifier in the original editable spline or both. Here we've got an interpolation section. I can open that up and increase or decrease the number of steps. If I bring the number of steps down to zero, then we're going to get just a square profile. Or I can increase the number of steps here to get the amount of detail I need. Maybe get in closer there so we can see that a little bit better. So we can bring that up to six steps or whatever we want. The level of detail in the other direction along the length of the path will be determined by the interpolation settings for the underlying spline object. So I'll select the editable spline in the modifier stack and maybe turn show end result on. And we've got an optimize switch here that's on by default. So let's turn that off. And now we see we've got some sub segments in this direction. We got basically lines of latitude. And we might need to do this if, for example, we wanted to deform this object. And we could maybe increase the number of steps in that dimension. OK, so that's using a built-in profile. Let's go back up to the sweep modifier and instead use this custom profile. Choose Use Custom Section. And then you'll need to pick the object. So click on the Pick button here. And then click on the profile object. And now we've got a custom profile. We can orbit around once again with Alt and Middle Mouse button. And if we want to change the level of detail, once again, we can use the interpolation settings in the underlying editable spline. We can change the number of steps, which will control the number of divisions running along the path. To change the number of divisions running around the profile dimension, we'll need to go to the profile object. There's actually an instancing going on here. The profile has been instanced into the sweep modifier. So with that profile object selected, for example, I can disable optimize and increase or decrease the number of steps, and that affects the sweep modifier on the other object. That's the basics of using the sweep modifier to extrude along a path.